Two things I've learned about myself over the years is that one, I am a total homebody. Home is where my heart is and it's where I feel the most free, relaxed and myself. And two is that my mood and physical space are often connected. When my home is cluttered and chaotic, I tend to feel the same way, which is one of the many reasons why I decided to adopt minimalism a few years ago. With these two things in mind, when it came to styling our home, I wanted to curate a space that was both simple and functional, but also warm, peaceful and personal. Just as the idea of minimalism can look different for everyone, so can the definition of a minimalist home. For us, it's been about finding that Goldilocks factor, a balance of not having too much nor too little, but instead just enough. A home that is both free of excess, but still exudes warmth and personality. So whilst I'm not a design expert, nor do I feel like the following will work for everyone, today I'd like to share a few ways that we have approached creating a more minimal and mindful home. The first concept was to embrace open spaces. In adopting minimalism, I have gradually learned to appreciate the philosophy of less is more. Whether you're moving into a new home and starting with a completely blank canvas, or you're in the process of decluttering and reorganizing an existing place, a lesson I've learned is that not every space has to be filled. Leaving things open and as they are is completely okay. Whether it's a blank wall, a clear surface, or an empty shelf, embracing open spaces can help us reduce visual clutter and achieve a more calm and simplified home. The next thing we considered was starting off with a neutral base. When it came to our core pieces of furniture, like our seating, shelving, and various tables, we wanted to keep it simple and opted for a neutral color palette consisting of whites, grays, beige, and light timbers. Whilst I love color, keeping at least the foundation neutral really helped us both financially and aesthetically. Neutrals can help create that simple, minimal, and calming aesthetic where everything looks cohesive. They're versatile as you can mix and match different items and layer on different colors and textures and be sure that they'll work. Lighter neutrals can also help brighten up a space, especially in rooms that don't get as much natural light. And we knew that if we ever decided to move, these pieces would work in just about any space. Having said that, I know that neutrals can sometimes come off as being cold, boring and uninviting. So here are a few ways of adding warmth to help balance that out. The first was to introduce some color. Contrary to popular beliefs, minimal spaces don't have to be completely neutral. Whilst neutrals offer a lot of flexibility, color can infuse a whole lot of joy, warmth, and personality to a space. So after creating our neutral base, we introduced color through our textiles like throw pillows, rugs, and blankets, artwork that we'd collected during our travels, as well as houseplants. Next was considering texture. Texture can be subtle, but adds a lot of character to a room. And it's an easy one to introduce through items that you're already planning on having in your home. In our home, we implemented texture by choosing different types of fabrics when it came to our furniture and textiles, selecting textured pots for holding our plants, and considering picture frames that were both neutral and embossed. Next came the natural elements, which help bring so much life to our space. As you guys know, houseplants have been a very welcome addition to our home decor, and I have to admit I have a huge soft spot for anything that's wicker and woven. We have a few wicker baskets that we use for storage, as well as these stools, which are both beautiful and serve us in many ways. We all know what a difference light can make when it comes to transforming a dark space into something much brighter and cozier. For us, natural light has been the way to go, but there are definitely rooms in our home that don't get nearly as much natural light as we'd like. So a few styling tips I've learned is to opt for brighter colors in those particular areas, to use additional warm lighting, and also a mirror can instantly give the illusion of a much brighter and more open space. And lastly, any personal items like family photos and handmade items can make a minimal home feel a lot more personal and cozy. Moving on, let's have a chat about functionality and style. My journey into minimalism began with mindful decluttering and whilst that's still ongoing, nowadays we tend to focus a lot more on what comes in through that front door. A great way we've streamlined clutter but also maintained those peaceful vibes is by being intentional with how we decorate and opting for items that are not just aesthetically pleasing but also practical at the same time. 
A few examples of this in our home include our plants, which add color and life whilst also improving the quality of air that we breathe, our wicker baskets, which act as smart and stylish storage, our watering can, which is both beautiful and helps water our plants, and our books, which add color and interest while entertaining us. Having items that are practical and can be used as decor is definitely a win-win in my books. This concept is definitely one of my favorites. I'm not sure about you guys, but I personally love changing things up once in a while to refresh our home and make it feel like something new. And a great way to achieve this for free is to go shopping in your own home. Take some time to go around your home and look at what you have. See if you can mix and match different items, maybe move around furniture and change up the orientation of a room, or is there an item that you no longer like but think it might make for a great DIY? Before rushing out to buy something new, shopping in my own home always gets me thinking a little more creatively and outside the box. It lets us enjoy existing items in newfound ways and avoids adding to the clutter. Speaking of shopping, when we do decide to purchase an item for our home, we have found that the advantages of owning fewer high quality pieces far outweighs the advantages of having many low quality items. Whilst high quality pieces tend to be more expensive upfront, having items in our home, be it furniture, clothing, accessories that we love and are well made, usually lasts us a lot longer. We enjoy and get a lot more use out of those items and it actually saves us money in the long run because we aren't having to replace them regularly. Making a wish list and doing our research and then waiting and saving up if we need to for those purchases has always proven to be well worth the wait. Lastly, it's important to take it slow. Building a home we love and going through the works of decluttering, organizing and styling an entire home was definitely no easy task. Breaking things down and focusing on one room at a time was definitely helpful as it helped reduce the mental and physical energy required and it meant that we were able to live in our home for a while and observe how we functioned within that space. This was so important for us as it gave us a much better idea of what we did and didn't need, helping us design a more purposeful home. And there you have it. Those are some of my favorite tips and ideas that we implemented when putting together our simple yet cozy place. I hope you enjoyed this one and it gave you a few ideas or some inspiration for your own home. I'd love to hear any thoughts and ideas you may have. Maybe you have a few tips of your own. Be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, if you did enjoy this video, it always means a lot if you give it a like and do feel free to drop me a message and say hello over on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.